Okay, I'm going to show you how I use gaseous giganticus to create gas giant uh, planet textures. So the first thing I do is I go on Google Images and try to find some kind of source image because gaseous giganticus requires some kind of image to work with. Um, you kind of want something um, you want a fairly large image, you want it to be vertical um, sort of a thin vertical strip um, so I'm going to start looking at pictures of the Badlands here and let's say um, this one looks good yeah this will work so um, We need to ch change the image a bit. First of all, we want a sort of vertical slice, but we want kind of all these colors right in here. Or that's what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm going to crop it, <clears throat> rotate it. Um, I'm going to mess around with the, the levels a little bit. I don't want a lot of contrast. I want it kind of to be a little bit washed out. <clears throat> and can play around with a little bit here. So, let's see. A little bit washed out. I want to blur it. You don't want to feed the program a bunch of. Uh, Real sharp stuff, so I'm gonna kind of make sure that it looks a little blurry before I give it to, that's probably good enough. All right, so you need to save it as a PNG. Okay, so we're done with that. Now we can run our program. Dash capital B for it just my little program needs that. Uh, sinusoidal that tells it how to take our image and wrap it around to a sphere. Um, noise scale is a little tricky, um, and velocity factor is sort of both of these things are a little bit tied together. Um, these values 2.5 and 1300 respectively are pretty good um, sort of the smaller you make the noise scale the larger the, the swirls will be um, and I think the smaller you make the noise scale the faster you need to make the velocity um, you need to play around with that a little bit and I'm gonna output this to a file, a bunch of files called P10. Uh, I'm j I just made that name up. Um, how many horizontal bands of counter-rotating gas do I want? I'm gonna say 11. All right, now this is gonna take a while. It's initializing 8 million particles in the velocity field, which the velocity field probably takes about 60 seconds, about a minute, a little over a minute probably. Um, so while we're waiting for that, start up my Mesh Viewer program to see our, of course it hasn't created any files yet, so we got to wait for this to create the first set of files. About a minute for this part of it. <clears throat> you have to compile with uh, when you build this gaseous gigantic because you have to say make capital O equals one to turn optimization on. If you don't do that, it'll still work. You just build it, 
but by default it will not have optimization turned on and then this step will then take about twice as long as it does with optimization. And it may take longer than a minute since I'm running record my desktop at the same time. Yeah, who knows if it will even work. So record my desktop is taking up a whole CPU and Gaseous Giganticus is taking the remaining three. So it will probably take more than a minute to do the velocity field because or short one CPU because of record my desktop. Okay, it's done the velocity field. Yeah, 116 seconds. It normally is less than that. Okay, so we got our. So now we can view. This is what we have so far. Whoops. is this is the, what we have what, what it's done so far it's still not looking real good but it'll get better See, it's already getting better. So every time it prints an O after the dots, that's when it's outputting images. So there are six images used in a cube map that it outputs. And each time it outputs those six images, this Mesh Viewer program will reload them so you get an update. improving slowly As the program runs, these sort of features become sharper. Um, so that's kind of why I blurred it, because you don't want a lot of sharp features in these clouds to begin with. They'll kind of sharpen up over time, and if you start with a bunch of stuff that's already kind of sharp, it's, uh, it doesn't seem to look as good.
that's pretty much the gist of it. <clears throat> you just let it run and it keeps morphing. And if you let it run for too long, it'll start getting a little bit weird looking probably. Um, so whenever it's sort of good enough, you hit control C and you have your six cube map images and that's it.